I'm Dr. Kath Watson, and today PD Insurance has asked me to talk to you about doing DNA tests in dogs. So the first thing to understand is that a DNA test is used to test for a specific disease where the gene causing that disease has already been identified. And they're often very breed specific as well. So it's not like you can just take a sample, send it away to the lab and expect that it's going to come back and tell you exactly what diseases your dog is likely to have. You really do need to know in advance what you're testing for uh, and working out what uh, that may be is worth having a discussion with your vet. Um, otherwise there are some uh, places you can go and search online that will give you an idea. The World Veterinary Association, or World Small Animal Veterinary Association um, website page you can search in there for various breeds and what their uh, likely inherited conditions are. So if you've decided you do want to go ahead and do a DNA test on your dog for a specific disease uh, you can actually do that test yourself if it's just for your interest sake uh, but if it's likely you're going to need that result in the future for information to guide things like breeding, then it is my recommendation is to go and get it done by a re registered professional like a veterinarian uh, to make sure that there is no doubt that that test has been uh, taken appropriately and that the identification is done at the time as well. So anytime we do a DNA test, uh, it's strongly recommended, if not essential, to have a microchip number that uh, is checked and confirmed at the time that the animal being tested is the one that's claimed. Usually a DNA sample is done with a cheek swab, so pretty simple, doesn't require any anaesthetics or anything like that, it's just a, a wee um, cotton swab that gets rolled around inside the, the cheek, um, usually several times, and there's usually more than one swab required, but it's pretty straightforward to do. Sometimes it's actually off a blood test or a hair sample. Uh, DNA can be extracted from any of these things. It's usually what's simplest for you. Sometimes a specific test will require a specific sample though. You can order the tests online or you could ask your vet to arrange. Um, usually it's something you can manage yourself though. The costs are going to depend on the test that is performed uh, and where that test is actually performed. So some or many tests can actually be tested here in New Zealand, so the costs are relatively low, but there are some very specific tests for specific diseases which uh, only certain labs in the world will do, and therefore there's going to be some international shipping costs associated with that as well. Um, and if they're a very rare test, then they usually require um, higher costs because they're not going to be run very often. Uh, as far as your general interest for doing DNA, DNA tests, that's great. If you have a pedigree dog, any good breeder will have already done the tests that are for known breed related problems. So make sure you ask for results of any tests that have been done. Uh, and it's a good way of guiding that you've, uh, you've come across a good breeder as well. Talk about DNA tests as far as specific diseases, this is things like um, progressive retinal atrophy which is a disease affecting eyes where they go blind over time, things like degenerative myelopathy where um, the nerves going to the back legs in certain breeds of dogs tend to degenerate and they start losing the ability to coordinate themselves and walk and all that sort of thing. Um, these are diseases that often develop down the track, so sometime in the future which is why the DNA tests are really useful to do when they're young, so that you don't end up breeding from a dog who's a carrier of these diseases and potentially going to pass it on. Some of the more rapidly progressive diseases you also don't want, um, where it may actually affect the survivability of puppies in a litter. Now there have been tests available in the past, and there may well still be, where you can do a DNA test to tell what breed your dog might be or what breeds it might have in it if you've got one of those lovely summer dogs, some of this and some of that, or a mixed breed. Um, I'm not sure I can really recommend those tests because the reality is for many dogs there's not necessarily one breed that predominates and many of our going to say purebred dogs 
are not um, that they're a combination of breeds in the first place to get to that type. So trying to determine what the, the main breed your dog contains, if it's a mixed breed dog, it's not necessarily that straightforward. And I guess my question would be, what are you going to do with that information? Um, if it is to help guide further health tests, um, then it's perhaps not a bad thing. If it's just for interest's sake, why not just have some fun guessing and ask around, see what people think. Um, I wouldn't stop you doing it, but like I say, I think you just need to have a very clear idea of what you want out of those results. Because unlike disease testing, where it's pretty black and white, whether they're a carrier for that disease or not, the breed testing's not black and white at all. There's all sorts of shades of grey.